are excited about today's video because I've been talking about it forever and you guys are like, when is the Walmart mom's jeans video coming? But it's finally here. Today we're gonna be doing DIY mom jeans from Walmart, except for these are actually guy jeans. If you guys follow me on TikTok, you guys already saw the video, but I didn't necessarily show you guys how to actually like take them in and DIY them to fit you. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. These jeans that I'm actually wearing here are from Walmart, guy jeans. Um, and I love how they fit, okay? When I posted them on my Instagram, you guys are like, where did you get your jeans? And I'm like, they're actually guy jeans from Walmart. So, I'm excited about today's video. Um, these are actually jeans that we're gonna be DIYing today, because obviously these are already like fitted to my liking. Um, and the best part about it, you guys, is that they're only $10. I know. Um, I feel like mom jeans everywhere else are usually kind of like pricey. Um, but these right here are only $10, and you can... DIY them yourself and add distresses if you want or add bleach if you want, like whatever it is that you want to do, you can. Um, these right here are actually also from Walmart, which you guys are also always asking me where I got them and I got them at Walmart. So anyways, that is what we're gonna be doing today. So if you guys are ready, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you guys get notified every single time that I upload. Um, you guys, I really love these jeans. If you guys are ready, then let's get into it. Wow, I really like the color of these jeans. I feel like it's gonna look so good with white. Um, but this is what the jeans look like beforehand and these are the smallest size they have obviously if they had a smaller one I would get that but also I don't know because I love the bagginess of it and if they were smaller they would obviously be smaller at the leg also um, so I think that's what's fun about it is that you could just like cuff it or tailor it at the waist and then it gives you that like super baggy look for $10 um, so anyways this is what it looks like so we're gonna have to tailor the back quite a bit um, I am gonna say something is it gonna look perfect Probably not, okay, because I'm not like a professional seamstress. We've talked about this before. The very first thing we're gonna do is measure how much exactly we're gonna be taking in, and this is obviously gonna be different for everybody. All right, guys, so to begin, this is what we're working with. It is a brother machine. I got this on Amazon. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below. It was pretty inexpensive, I think, for a sewing machine. I think it was like 75 or 80 bucks, something like that. I also recommend getting denim thread just because this is what um, most jeans have so that way it won't be like white thread or anything, you know? Okay, so I've already prepped the machine. I have i don't even know what the term is, threaded the bob. <laughs> I literally have no idea what it is, you guys. Do not make fun of me. Like I said, I am by no means a professional, but I've already set it up how it has to be set up. I'm gonna go ahead and link a video down below so in case you guys don't know how to do it, it shows you step by step how to prep the machine. First thing we're gonna do is flip our jeans inside out. These are straight fit, but the other ones that I've gotten are regular fit, um, so just keep that in mind. If you go to Walmart and try them on, um, they have different fits, different styles, different colors, all for only $10. Um, so anyways, flip it over. As you guys saw, it was two and a half inches. Um, and since mine was two and a half inches that we're gonna take in, I'm gonna be doing two separate little alterations um, but if you have less than one and a half then I recommend just doing one so in order to get two even pieces that are in the center of each loophole we're gonna match the side loophole to the center loophole for our first alteration you want to make sure that the loopholes are even on each other so we can get a really nice like center alteration so since we're doing two alterations i divided how much i needed to take in in half um, and then measured that and took a pen creating a curb before we get to the seam of what would be the pocket if it was inside out and then we're going to add pins on the outside of where i kind of drew that line just to make sure that when we're sewing it doesn't go out of place I personally am more of a visual learner, so I would probably confuse myself with the instructions that I'm giving. If that's the case, ignore what I'm saying and just follow what I'm doing. And then we're gonna get into the sewing process. Um, all of this my cousin taught me and then also got some pointers from YouTube. Not a professional yet, um, but I'm working on it. So this is what it looks like, not bad. Um, you guys might not have to take in as much, but then we're gonna repeat this process on the other side. So here are the two alterations and you can either cut that off or just leave it. 
So I want to add a slit here at the knee, so I'm just kind of freehanding it with a pen. Um, and then we're going to cut there horizontally and then also vertically, so it kind of creates like a little flap, you know, and it just kind of like flaps over. Okay guys, so this is pretty much the finished result. I love them. I honestly love the color of them too. Um, as you can see, they obviously fit pretty snug and because there's kind of like extra fabric here, it almost kind of like shapes you nicely too, um, which I love. See when you kind of like pop it, it kind of like, you know what I mean? Um, so anyways, this is it. <laughs> Okay, so here is the butt area. Like I told you guys before, it's not perfect, um, but you can definitely go the extra mile and also tailor the pockets. And in case you're wondering why I didn't just make the alterations on the side, I tried that and it just kind of stuck out too much. It looked like very unnatural and just not well done. Um, so I found it was best to hide the alteration kind of under the back pockets. I'm living for the rip on the knee here because my other two ones are just, they're not distressed or anything. I just left them like that because I don't really have jeans that are not distressed. So I kind of wanted to switch it up with this one. But you guys, what do we think? I love how it turned out. It's so cute. And they have different kinds of washes too. They have black ones. They have tan ones. They have beige ones. They have all kinds of colors. So go off. Um, they have them in store and then they also have them online. Um, and like I said, I didn't think I ever mentioned this, but I got them in a 2930, which is the smallest size that they have. Um, but depending on you know your measurements, you might not even have to take it in that much. Um, so it really just depends on like your body and you know if you got a big booty. If you got a big booty, then these pants work in your favor, girl. Okay, so I'm just saying they're only ten dollars. So I feel like you could get creative. You could bleach them. You could add. Um, patches to them you can rip them you can get really creative okay all right guys so that's it for today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it and you guys found it useful if you guys do go out and get yourself a pair of guy jeans and turn them into mom jeans please be sure to tag me on your instagram or your story so i can see your guys' creations also let me know in the comments down below if you guys would be interested in a walmart tall because i kind of wanted to do it in today's video but then i was like oh, i think it should be its own thing so i have a few things that i would like to share with you guys so let me know if you guys would be interested in that also don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any of my future videos and ring that bell also i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll talk to you guys next time